representing when an association, um, be it a, a condominium association or a homeowner association, um, our firm is actually representing the association as a whole. Um, now we take directions from the board of directors. Um, we may also take directions from a particular director or officer who has been named as a, li a legal liaison um, to take directions from. And uh, there are other times when the property management company has the authority uh, to either give us legal work or to have us work on a particular issue. Um, but the corporate entity that is the association includes all the members of the association um, and that's whether or not it's developer controlled or not. Um, basically, we are representing that entire entity and those members within it. Now, we don't represent the members individually because, of course, that would be a conflict, especially if there was um, an adversarial position between the association and between the unit member. Um, just for an example, if a unit member isn't paying their assessments, um, then the association through either the board of directors or through uh, the management company will uh, send the file to my office uh, to collect against that particular unit owner. So I'm not representing that unit owner, but I'm representing the association as a whole, and that unit owner actually is part of that. Um, so although there's not a direct representation, uh, the, the attorneys that handle association work and represent the actual associations or representing that entire um, body uh, and take their directions from the board of directors or from the community uh, association manager.